I must say, uh, to, to go with that, down that road, I once interviewed Kanta and he was so depressed. I mean, it was something <laughs> wrong with my question, but he was so <laughs> depressed, uh, the little man, that he was kind of shrinking. And I was thinking, and he said to me, I've done so many mistakes. I can't believe I did so many mistakes. I was thinking, how do I follow up this? What's my next question? So my question was, What's the worst mistake you did in the worst this game? And he and he, he 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 disappeared. I mean, he is the saddest man alive. But I I don't agree with you that he's a bad ma oh guys that he is a bad manager. I think Conte is a is a good manager, but it's just the way he infects his players in that in this saddest man alive kind of philosophy. I mean, that is not very sustainable uh, to put it in a small way. Well, he's a bad manager at the moment, Jan, because he can't he can't get any consistency. And I mean, uh, fourth fourth in the league. <laughs> yeah, they are absolutely <laughs> terrible. Let me tell you something. I think there is some competition we don't know about uh, between Ralph Ranić and Antonio Conte to see who can have the worst new manager bounce. <laughs> you know this new manager bounce they talk about about going into a club and everybody goes, "Oh, brilliant!" I mean, wh where's at least the the passion and the energy and the, you know, if you go to Middlesbrough, championship side, decent side, very good manager, <laughs> well organised. But if you go there, you don't go there and sit back. I'm better than you. Mm. i got better players. I've got better midfielders, better defenders, better strikers. I go there and I press you and I smother you and I don't even allow you out your half. That's how good we are compared to you. You stamp on them and you just put your authority on them and you stifle them. I mean, you don't sit back as if you're playing against the Liverpools and the Cities and as Don said, allow them to play through you and look like a good little side. So where's the manager? And the, you know I mean? it's, kind of, it's a two-way street here. Yep. The players and the ma manager. I know Tottenham don't have the best squad. But the whole point was Antonio Conte gets the best out of players, yep. allegedly. We're not seeing it. Don, we talk about the players. You can cite the fact, obviously, they've had different managers after Pochettino and still struggled. Yet every one of the, every one of the starting 11 today walks in to the Middlesbrough mm. team. Every one of the starting 11 walks into the Burnley team. So these players yeah. should be good enough to beat these sort of sides, but they're not. They're not because they're fragile. And the culture's bad, Dan, because they're used to losing over the years. This is a losing team. Tottenham have been a losing club for a long time. So to get that mentality shift, I mean, Klopp calls these Liverpool players mentality monsters. That's what they are. They're used to winning now. It's a habit. When you watch Tottenham now, that, as I said before, they're a riddle because you're not, you're not quite sure what you're going to get. They're going to put in a performance like Craig's against Man City and you think, right, come on, surely you must kick on now. Surely you can go back-to-back -back win. Surely you can have a good run in FA Cup. Surely, come on, you're a good team. You've got a top-class manager. But the whole culture is about losing and that's going to take an awful lot of time to try and change that culture, to try and get anywhere near the big boys. And it's going to be a fair few more years before they win trophies. Then we're going to be talking about Harry Kane in the summer because he wants trophies. He said it. He said he wants to win the big prizes. So that's another noose around their neck come the summer when Harry Kane probably gets linked with a thousand clubs. So I just don't see where they're going, Dan, to be honest. But but, but, but it's inter it's interesting that that is a good point with with the, they are fragile. And and you must say, I mean, I follow uh, Tottenham since I was a kid and the culture is somehow always the same. They're a fragile t t team. And now <laughs> Levy is trying, first he got Mourinho on to try to get them tougher. Eh, eh, not happen. Now it's Conte is coming in. Eh, eh, not happening. I mean, it's it's what what do they do? Because this when when you saw the game today, I mean, you were thinking, who is fourth in the league? Is it Borough or Tottenham? I mean, there was no chance that and some aliens will come down and say, wow, look at that Premier Sheep team with white shirts. Ah, oh, they're the red teams. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I mean, that was not not possible to see. It, it, Borough would have been a better team. They, they had a better plan, they were tougher, there were more passion, and they won the game. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.